And action! Negative. No reports of Time Lord. A big part of the Dalek is his voice, is the voice. We are beyond the Doctor's reach. The person who realises that really is Nick Briggs. He's a genius. He sits at the side of the set um, and delivers a completely chilling performance. The Doctor cannot stop us! Nick's involvement begins months before shooting when the cast gathers for a first read-through of the script. Nick comes to the read-through with his, with his ring modulator. Jacqueline. Gary Milner. Nick Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> and he sets up a little speaker and he sits there and he patiently waits for the first Dalek line to come around, knowing that when it does and when he first booms across that read-through room, he's going to get a shiver of delight from everyone in the room. I'm receiving a communication from the Earthbound ships. They have a message for the human race. We'll put it through. Let's hear it. Exterminate! 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 suddenly hear it being created live still, uh, still certainly still gives me a free song every time it happens Dalek fleet in battle formation all systems locked and primed principle at 90% efficiency the human harvest will commence people never seem to tire of it I know on the first one when I did it you know Christopher Eccleston who'd never heard that before he suddenly just stopped at his tracks and couldn't carry on and said I wasn't expecting that and likewise this time commence the landings bring the humans here I mean, it's lovely for an actor's ego. I got a huge round of applause on my first line, and then any little different nuance I did, that another round of applause. Now the Daleks are the masters of Earth! Daleks are the masters of Earth! <laughs> I'm wearing a massive multiplication shot of the Daleks on the floor, everywhere, all chanting. Everyone together now. <laughs> It makes the job more interesting when there's a further development of the Daleks. So with the Dalek Supreme and Dalek Khan having gone completely bonkers this time, you know, there's, there's a lot to think about and a lot to do, and that, that makes it... I mean, I love... Don't get me wrong, I love doing the whole exterminate and we obey and barking out commands. That that's, has a, a fun aspect all of its own, especially since the Daleks are so cross all the time. Supreme Dalek on the bridge! But the, the Dalek Supreme... He is uh, rather... He, I think he's got a very high opinion of himself. So he has a kind of grand way of speaking and he kind of thinks he's the boss of everything. Emergency! Locate the TARDIS! Find the Doctor! And then further along that scale is uh, Dalek Khan, who's been through the time war and back and goodness knows where else. <laughs> and he's sort of all in bits and sort of hanging there. And it's said in the script that he has this kind of strange musical quality to his voice. I flew into the wild and fire. Because he, his mind has just been blown by all this incredible experience he's been through. It's like all the, the neurons in his brain are firing in really weird directions. So he is all over the place. He danced and died a thousand times. And he has this ridiculous giggle, and that was the thing that always got me into it. And Graham Harper, the director, kept saying, more giggling, I like the giggling, you know. So I said, I'd love the giggling. That's going to be great. Cut. Thank you. Um,